Unit 1. Periodicity of Elements and Their Properties Lesson 1. Attempts of Elements Classification Classification of Elements Give reasons for Scientists thought about classifying elements according to their properties. In order to Number 1. Facilitate their study Number 2. To find a relationship between elements and their chemical and physical properties. The most important attempts that we will study in this lesson are Mendeleev's periodic table, Mosley's periodic table, and finally, modern periodic table. We will start with Mendeleev's periodic table. Mendeleev did the following. Mendeleev prepared 67 cards. Each card represents an element. He recorded the name of each element on each card with its atomic weight and its important properties such as boiling point, degree of fusion, and density. He arranged elements of similar properties in vertical columns which were known later as groups. After this arrangement, Mendeleev discovered the following. As you can see, Mendeleev discovered that the atomic weight of elements increases, but in a non-uniform way, on moving from the left side of the table to the right side, in the horizontal rows which were known later as periods. As you can see, the atomic weight of element increases as we go from left to right, but in non-uniform way. Also, Mendeleev discovered that the properties of elements were repeated periodically by the beginning of each new period. We will study Advantages of Mendeleev's periodic table. The first one is that Mendeleev left gaps or empty space or empty cells in his table. And this is an important give reason question. This is because he predicted the discovery of new elements. Mendeleev said that these spaces will be filled in the future with new undiscovered elements. So, Mendeleev left gaps predicting the discovery of new elements. The second advantage is Mendeleev determined, calculated the values of atomic weights of some elements which were not discovered yet. Mendeleev not only left gaps but also he calculated the atomic weight of the elements that will be discovered in the future. The third one is that Mendeleev corrected the atomic weight of some elements which were estimated wrongly, such as beryllium, gold, platinum, and so on. Now we will talk about disadvantages of Mendeleev's periodic table. The first one is that Mendeleev had to make this order. As you can see, here the atomic weight of element which is called Ta is 181 for the second one is 184 for the next one is 180 then 194. As you can see we said that atomic weight increases as we go from left to right but here we have one element which is not in the correct order so Mendeleev had to make this order in the arrangement in the ascending order of atomic weights of some elements and this is an important give reason question also this is done by Mendeleev to put them in groups that suit their properties.
The second disadvantage is when the leaf had to consider the isotopes of one element are different elements. Why? Due to the difference in their atomic weights. So he had to put more than one element as we can see here in each cell from these cells. Each cell contains two elements. But what's meant by isotopes? Isotopes, they are atoms of the same element which have the same atomic number. As you can see here, they are all hydrogen and their atomic number is 1. But they differ in their number of neutrons. So their mass number differ from one isotope to another because they have different number of neutrons now let's compare between advantages and disadvantages of Mendeleev's periodic table Mendeleev left the gaps or empty cells in his table predicting the discovery of new elements disadvantage he had to make this order in the arrangement in the ascending order of atomic weights of some elements to put them in groups that suit their properties. Advantages He determined the values of atomic weights of some elements which were not discovered yet. The final disadvantages He had to consider the isotopes of one element are different elements due to the difference in their atomic weights. The final advantages is that he corrected the atomic weights of some elements which were estimated or calculated wrongly. Because Mendeleev thought that isotopes of the same element are different elements, so he had to put more than one element in the same cell or in the same place in his table. Now let's talk about the second attempt which is done by Mosley in his table, Mosley's periodic table. The New Zealand scientist Rutherford discovered that the nucleus of the atom contains positively charged protons. This fact wasn't known before Rutherford. After doing the experiment that we see it right now, Rutherford discovered that there is a central core inside the atom this central core is positively charged so they contains positively charged particles which were called protons this useful information discovered by Rutherford and after studying x-rays Mosley found that the periodic properties of elements are related to their atomic numbers not to their atomic weights as Mendeleev proposed or as Mendeleev thought. The most important modifications of Mosley on Mendeleev's table. The first thing that Mosley did is he rearranged elements in an ascending order but in this time according to their atomic numbers where the atomic number of each element increases by one from the preceding element in the same period this is the most powerful advantage of Mosley's periodic table we can predict the atomic numbers of elements only by knowing their position in his table because the atomic number increases from left to right in a uniform way. He added zero group which includes all inert or noble gases at the end of his table in group zero. He classified the elements of each group into two subgroups A and B. 
and this is an important give reason question this is because the difference between their properties because each group from groups of Mendeleev contains different elements in their properties so mostly divided each group into two subgroups A and B because they were different in their properties Mosley specified a place below his table for length nights and act nights as you can see between BA and LU there is a huge gap the atomic number here is 56 and for LU is 71 the rest are here LA57 till LU71 these group of elements are called length nights and also we have the same gap between RA88 and the LR103 this gap is filled by this group of elements which are called actinides start from actinium AC89 and ends with LR103 Bohr Bohr discovered the main energy levels of the atom and their number reaches 7 in the heaviest known atom term now. Before Bohr we don't know that the electrons are distributed in energy levels. The scientist who discovered that electrons are distributed in energy levels is Bohr. Now let's talk about the final attempt for classification of elements which is the modern periodic table. Scientists had discovered that each main energy level from the seven energy levels which start with K and ends with Q. Each energy level contains a definite, a specific, a certain number of other levels which are known as energy sub levels and the number and the total number of energy sublevels is 4 they are S, P, D and F so scientists reclassified the elements in a table known as modern periodic table elements are classified in the modern periodic table according to two factors the first one is like that used by Mosley is according to their atomic numbers the second factor is related to energy sublevels. The second factor is the way of filling the energy sublevels with electrons. So we will discover later in this movie that the modern periodic table is classified into four blocks according to the four energy levels. Now let's describe the modern periodic table. The total number of known elements in the modern periodic table until now is 116 elements. Only 92 elements from them are available in the Earth's crust, while the rest are prepared artificially, are prepared by scientists in labs. The modern periodic table consists of seven horizontal periods 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and it consists of 16 vertical groups and 18 vertical columns the reason for the difference between the number of columns and the number of group is group 8 which is found inside D block this is because this group consists of three vertical columns the three vertical columns are called group 8 so we have 16 vertical groups but we have 18 vertical columns the elements of the modern periodic table are classified into four blocks which are S block elements P block elements D block elements and finally F block elements let's talk about S block elements 
S block elements they are located on the left hand side of the modern periodic table and as you can see they contain two groups which are group 1A and 2A P block element they are located on the right hand side of the modern periodic table and they are arranged in six groups which are group 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A and finally group 0 which contains noble or inert gases let's talk about D block elements they are located in the middle of the modern periodic table and it contains eight groups which are called 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, group 8 which contains three columns group 1B and finally 2B they are eight groups but they are arranged in 10 vertical columns D block elements also are called transition elements and as you can see they start to appear starting from period 4 we don't have D block elements in period number 1 or 2 or even 3 they start to appear starting from period 4 finally let's talk about F block elements they are located below the periodic table and they contain lanthanides and actinides we have a very important and main question in any exam our question is how to locate the position of an element in the modern periodic table by knowing its atomic number only it is possible to determine the location of elements of group A only in the modern periodic table by knowing their atomic numbers where the element period number equals number of energy levels occupied by electrons in its atom for example if we have sodium and we know that its atomic number is 11 it has three energy levels because its electrons are distributed in three energy levels 2, 8, 1 so sodium is located in period 3 the element group number equal a number of electrons in the outermost energy level in its atom let's return back to our example which is sodium the outermost energy level which in our case is M contains only one electron this means that sodium is located in group 1A example Locate the position of each of the following elements in the modern periodic table. Helium. We know that the symbol of helium is HE and its atomic number is 2. By writing its electronic configuration, we will find that helium contains only one energy level which is filled by two electrons. Because helium contains only one energy level, so it is found in period number 1 and because its outermost energy level is completely filled with electrons because K is filled with two electrons so it is located in group 0 this is because helium is an inert gas so now we know the exact location of helium in the modern periodic table so helium is located in group 0 and period 1 Another example, locate the position of each of the following elements in the modern periodic table. Chlorine, the symbol of chlorine is Cl and its atomic number is 17. By writing down the electronic configuration for chlorine, so it contains three energy levels, so it is located in period 3. Its outermost energy level contains seven electrons, so it is located in group 7A. So chlorine is located in period 3 and the group 7A.
Now we will do another step. How to determine the atomic number of an element by knowing its position. For example, calculate the atomic number of the following elements. We have unknown element which is X which exists in the third period, period number 3 and the group 3A. Because this element is found in the third period, so it contains the three energy levels. And since it exists in group 3A, so its outermost energy level contains the three electrons. So, the atomic number of element X equals 2 plus 8 plus 3 equals 13. This element is aluminium. Another example, calculate the atomic number of the following element. We have unknown element Y, which exists in the second period and in group 0. Since this element is found in the second period, so it has two energy levels. And since this element is found in group 0, so its outermost energy level is completely filled with electrons. And L is filled with 8 electrons. So the atomic number of this element is 2 plus 8 is 10. This element is neon. Thanks for watching. This is the end of lesson 1.